Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. We're back home, shooby doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home, shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause we're eating fast food. Dude, you guys, so we're, there's no long intro today. I went out and I had to get all of this, and I had to reheat it up too. Look. Mmm, crispy Taco Bell fries down here. Yes, come through, come through. Oh my gosh, there's so much here, it didn't even make the cut. Look, these are buffalo, oh, excuse me, not buffalo. These here are the delicious chili cheese tots from Sonic, as well as a coney down here. And I have some onion rings from Burger King, which are in the Taco Bell container. Sorry about that. And we have some spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's. We have some chicken nugget french fries from Burger King. Down over here, which you can barely see. Beep, 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 beep. That's some Sonic jalapeno peppers. We have so much. And it's featuring pizza, which I just heated up. You guys, two things before we get our first bite. Number one, follow my new YouTube channel. Click the link down below. I post there every single day, and I'm going to be picking out 10 of you to thank you here in my channel and send you some of my followers. So all you have to do is say hi and leave your Twitter, your Instagram, something that you want followers to, and I'll send them to you by shouting you out. Last time I did this, some of you guys were getting five, six, seven hundred followers overnight just from my video. So I could give you almost a thousand subscribers, 700, you know. You never know. So all you have to do is say hi, click the link down below, and come join me on my new channel. <sighs> the second announcement is, I'm hungry. I don't even know. <laughs> Cheers to a wonderful eating show. We got a nice glass of water down here. Ooh, it's so cold. That's why I'm not doing a long intro today because I'm actually that hungry. And it took forever to set up. And if I sit here and start talking, and you know, half an hour goes by, this all gets cold again. And I want to eat it while it's warm. So let's dig right in. Oh, I'm gonna be answering your questions on my Instagram throughout this video. So that's on the to-do list. But first, let's just have a bite. My cheesy tots. Cheesy, ooh. Oh my gosh, they're literally falling apart as I scoop it. Mmm. 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 I want a big bite. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. All right, let's do a bite of my pizza. So my pizza, unfortunately, is under all this stuff. I'm gonna have to slide it out. Oh my God. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna dip it into my ranch over here. This is from Buffalo Wild Wings, the best ranch in the world. Here I go. Are you ready for it? Mmm. Listen. Oh. Mm. oh my god, this is so good. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, this is a lot of food, but we have a lot to celebrate. We're celebrating that. Actually, I don't know what we're celebrating about. <laughs> mm. Today's my pre-birthday celebration. My birthday's in um, a couple months, so I like to pre-grade. <laughs> I don't even know what to celebrate, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go to my Instagram. Let's start doing your, where did that post go? I hate when people post things and take it down. It's like I already saw it, don't act like it wasn't there. But some people like to do it. Okay, so I have over 2,000 questions on this. Oh, let's do newest first, how about that? That way I get new questions. All right, see them all here? Do you guys see yourselves? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, hopefully nothing bad pops down. <laughs> Is this newest first? No, we have to do newest, not top. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna be answering your questions while we eat. Cheers to that. Dip in this soft chicken nugget french fry. Mm, into my signature sauce, oh my God. Mm. Oh my gosh, the questions are all the same. I'm not gonna try to do questions that I've never answered before. Here's a question, where do you get that tabulki in the fish cakes, please? This comes from, okay, this one. Hey girl, I get them at a local Asian store. And if you can't get them at a local Asian store, I don't know, you're gonna have to search online, Google them, but I've been fortunate, there's something called H Mart, that's a famous Korean store. I don't think they have many out there, so see if it's near you. Mmm. They're also, oh. Mmm. Mmm. 
They also have them on the internet at like. Well, a lot of them are sold out right now. Actually, I just went to the Asian store today. Mm. Looking for some more ramen noodles. Mmm. Mmm. And they were sold out. And you know what they did? They raised the price. So my, you know my favorite spicy ramen noodles? Well, here's the thing. I mean, it depends where you are. So here, they've always been $4.99 for five packs of ramen noodles. The, my favorite Korean ones. They raised the price during these trying times to $10. I'm like, oh. I don't know. I think it's really bad. It's like when the airlines, what was it? The, um, the hurricane was happening in Florida and all the airlines leaving Florida made their flights like doubled or tripled the price. I thought that was just inhumane. Oh, the Puerto Rico um, thing. Mm. I remember Ricky Martin tweeted about that. He was very upset. He's like, where's my cheese? Oh. He's like, these people are suffering and hurting, and you're interested in making money off of them. Oh. <gasps> I saw this horrible thing, which I think all of you should see. This is a recommendation for me, you guys. Listen up. Go to US, USA Today. Dot com. I don't know if you can find it directly on the website. I'm going to link it in this video. That's how passionate I am about it. Nick, when you're editing, please remember, <clears throat> put a link to this article for all your followers to read. No, it's a, no, 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 no. You, reading? Ill. no. It's a movie. It's ten minutes long. It's like a little documentary. It's a news report. Wow. It's about the dentistry in America. And how... It is becoming all about money. And yes, it's okay to make money. It's okay, we all need it. There's nothing wrong with making money. But if you're doing it, by t for example, some dentists out there, it's this whole thing, what's it called? North American Dental Society or something like that. It's being bought out by all of these investors who now run it through Wall Street and they reward the, the hygienists and the dentists based on how much how many, how much they're making that day. Not how, how well they're taking care of the patients, how much money. So for example, a dentist will be like, from this like group, it was like an undercover thing, I don't know. Um, he'd look at the mouth and be like, you have 10 cavities, you need to get them pulled and give them a bill for like $15,000. And the patient will be like, oh my God. And some will be scared and they'll do it. And some will be like, I've never had cavities in my life. Now I have all these. They'll go to another dentist and the dentist will be like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. They're beautiful. I would never ever do anything to them. Who, cavity where? What? Who's telling you that you need to get? It's just like this scam. It's becoming very prevalent. And um, you guys know I'm very passionate about my teeth. I've Invisalign now. I've been telling you about. Um. It might not seem like it. Ooh, this is good. I love spicy chicken sandwich from Burger King. Mmm. That was good. But um I it might not seem like it from my YouTube channel. I know I'm a class clown, I exaggerate for views, blah 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 blah. <laughs> mm. But there is a side of me that's very analytical, very observant, very um, mindful. I know exactly what I'm doing with certain fields, you know. And when it comes to my teeth, I've learned a lot. Why I've opted for different things. What I do now to take care of them. What I disagree with, you know, the root canal versus getting it pulled. And what I learned and how, you know, the teeth are shifting, da-da-da, gravity. I've told you all that. Well, it's very scary to me that this is happening, that people are being tricked into thinking that they need more procedures done than they actually do. Because it's not like you go to the car mechanic, they're like, oh, you need this door, you need this fancy click. Mm. You need this, oh, you know, you expect them to upsell you. But your teeth, that's a part of your body. Mm. These nacho fries are so good. Anyway. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Just watch it. It's 10 minutes. Um, 
you're going to watch it and be kind of scared and you're going to think, well, geez, Nick, what's the takeaway from this information? Like, what do I do? Here's what you do. If you don't like your dentist, find another one. I have... I get my teeth cleaned all over the world. I've gotten them cleaned in Thailand, in Colombia, in Mexico. Sorry, is this boring? I'll just stop. <sighs> Here's what you do. If you're scared from this video, if they're telling you that you need work done, get a second opinion. If, oh gosh, again, the whole affording thing. That's, that's, that's annoying too. See, I played the, the in-house insurance thing. And I also, you know, in Colombia, you go to the dentist for $30. In Thailand, you go to the dentist for $30. So I, I was fortunate to be able to get second opinions and stuff. But even if you can't get a second opinion right then and there, unless there's pain, you gotta take care of it, but if there's no pain, your next six months, I mean, get a different dentist in town, see what they say. Anyways, that's that, I need to stop, okay. I wasted 10 minutes talking about this stupid dentist. This is so good. <clears throat> Let's do my Taco Bell fries. Mm. Okay, so watch that, click the link down below. All right. How are you doing during all of this craziness? This comes from Medical Makeup Mama. Hi, Medical. I was just talking about the medical. Oh, can I try these first, though? Ooh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. Stop it. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh, there goes my first bag. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I forget why I even started talking about the dentist. Oh no. Mm. I mentioned profits over people. Like, oh, like what's her name? Pam, somebody from Lake Worth, Florida. She was trending on the news. And I live in Florida. <clears throat> and when I saw this, I got especially mad. I'm like, but you can Google that too after this video. There's a there's a gov uh, mayor of a Florida town. I think it's by Miami, and she basically was trying to collect utility bills from people as they were getting sick and threatening to take off their electricity and water. And they didn't pay it, even though they knew she knew that half the people in Florida right now aren't at work. They've all been kind of laid off for a little bit. Like just. Backlog it for a month. You're so, uh, these are such billion dollar companies. They can afford to not get paid for a month. You don't think they have any money? Oh. It's like taxes. Like shoot, I just saw that taxes are now being deferred till July. Because of the Bud Light. I'm not making fun of it. I'm saying I can't say it on YouTube. The Bud Light illness, okay? It's usually due on April 15th. Now it's due March, no, April, May, June, July. Three months later. They could defer those taxes for three months. You think the government lives paycheck to paycheck? Ah, uh ah, -uh, the people do. You think the water company and the electric company lives paycheck to paycheck? I don't think so. Ugh, it was just gross. Anyways, she's all about profits over people, and she got called out in this viral video that was trending on Twitter and YouTube, m millions of views, and she was getting called out to her face at this meeting. And this lady, Pam, the governor, decided to walk out because she didn't like being confronted about the, the evil thing. Just evil, evil thing she was doing. Evil. It was very entertaining. I wish there was more to see. But I was so passionate about it that I called her. I'm like, hi. I live in Orlando. I'm a, I'm a Floridian. And I'm very upset by what you're doing. And there were people calling her office from all over the world, from the UK, from Canada. Hello, Pam, you gotta go. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Anyways, that happened a couple days ago. I'm talking about profits over people here. Hmm. Okay, let's eat this. Spicy chicken nugget, 
I'm gonna dip it in my spicy Taco Bell cheese. It's kind of spicy, this cheese here. Mmm. Oh. This cheese is outstanding. Okay, everybody. Next question. What do you think about TikTok? This comes from Mini. Okay, here's what I think about TikTok. I'm not on it. I don't have an account. Oh my god, these. Here, jalapeno peppers. I'm not on it. I don't know what I would do on it. People are telling me to go on it. I'm like, what would I do? I just like to eat and talk. I'm not really a five second or, you know, unless you're dancing or doing something really innovative, which I, I can't do. <laughs> Oh, Nick, play your violin. No one's gonna watch that. <sighs> this app is for young kids. They don't care about classical instruments. I'm telling you. Mmm. Mmm. These are spicy. Spicy from Sonic. Spicy from Sonic. Let's do another one of these. Okay. When will you live all, leave all social... Oh, first let's shout out... Oh, yeah, Mini Livy. Shout out to... <clears throat> Would you rather bottom or top? <gasps> this comes from Tough Kind. Probably top. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The other way is so intense. It's just so intense. I don't know. It's just like, it's such an interesting feeling and then you can't really walk for a couple hours. And I'm not saying, you know, this, uh, I'm, I'm talking about three knobs. Yeah, even the little things. I, I prefer those. Jeez, hurts less. I, I, <laughs> this is my camera stand, okay? <laughs> um, that comes from Tough Nine. <clears throat> How many hot peppers could you put in your mouth? Well, I actually have a YouTube video. It's called the Hot Pepper Challenge. And I got a case of hot peppers. I was in Colombia, so I could afford something like that. It was still pretty pricey, I remember at the time. And that's when I was trying to grow my channel, so I was taking risks. Even though I was in Colombia, I was like, I'm gonna buy a whole case, okay. <laughs> Check it out. I eat all these peppers. And I screamed. And there's uh, Christmas decorations behind me. These are good. I love these. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Next question comes from... What's the funniest thing you've ever done? This comes from Iron Kronzer. The funniest thing I've ever done... Probably shave my head and kind of uh, on camera. And <laughs> it's funny now in retrospect. Here's something. Let me. Do you want to be in the mind of Nicole Cato? Mmm, these are good. Let me tell you something right now. Oh, shoot. I was having a bad day earlier. Ooh, dip this in here. I was having a bad day, you guys. And my hair has been making me mad. And sometimes when I cut it myself, I get very upset. I, okay, I have to cut it myself and here's why. It's not that I can't afford a hair cutlery. Well, now with the Bud Light illness, no one's going to get their hair cut now. <laughs> At least, I mean, there are people are, but you really shouldn't. People were coming for me in my comments like, don't get food. I'm like, what? I'll just starve, quit mukbangs? Wait a minute, I'm in the drive-thru. I mean, you know, that food is a necessity here. I have to eat every day. And there's nothing at the grocery store, so it's more of a reason to get fast food. I do have lots of seafood in the uh, freezer. I'll be doing more seafood boils this week. But anyway. Yeah, people are like, oh my gosh, she's risking every... I'm, what's, uh, either that or I starve. I mean, um, you're fortunate that you got food. I I had to start stocking up on food because remember I was in San Diego. Orlin wasn't doing it. He didn't know. But we have lots of seafood. But if you see five seafood boils back to back, it's because it's like an official quarantine. We can't do anything. But anyway, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't get my hair cut a because I pass out. I go unconscious, and my hair 
I'm very scared of the buzzers. If someone else is doing it, it really frightens me. I'm like a little cat. This was good. A plus, highly recommend. The, could, you, could you notice a trend here? I'm going for Taco Bell. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. I'm doing like pizza. Do another pizza. But yeah, so I'm having a bad hair day recently. It's time to cut my own hair. I get so frustrated with it. I told myself, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna shave it on camera like I did last time. Cause that was the funny video. I have to be in a mood. And so, like I just said, I had a bad moment recently where I was crying, had something to do with Orlin, and in the moment I'm like, oh my, I'm gonna shave my head again. <laughs> I never did, because I'm like, wait a minute, I really don't wanna shave my hair. Like, let's be smart about this here. Cheers. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm so serious. I'm like, I'm about to shave my head on camera. I'm gonna be upset about something. And just do it. So that was one of the funniest things I've ever did. Shave my hair head on camera. <laughs> put eggs on my face. Now this time I'm not gonna waste food. But that was not wasting it. Uh, here's the backstory to that video. I know I've told you guys before, actually kind of recently. Um, there's a video out there, look it up. I'm shaving my head and crying. Um, I was gonna, I was in Colombia and I was doing an Indomie Gorn video and I had the eggs and the noodles. All the noodles fell onto the floor. And I put them back onto the tray. And if you look closely when the video starts, before I even shave my head, Zoom in, there's hairs all over my noodles. Just from the floor, because it was a three-story apartment. You guys remember, it had that spiraling staircase. It was very hard to clean it. We never really cleaned it. We were like, oh my God. It was, I mean, three floors. <sighs> now we have one floor. We're in an apartment building and we're on one floor, which is nice. But three, oh, the staircases. Anyway, so when the noodles fell, and it was going up the stairs, not the top spiral the staircase that you used to see, but the first one. And there was leg hairs and dust. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sick. Anyway, <clears throat> so I was so upset. And around that time, me and Orlin had an argument. And I'm, to me, I tell myself that's how I know I love him. I get so upset. So upset. I might really love him. I won't really care. <sighs> and that gave birth to that video. I'm surprised I didn't get uh, copyrighted. That, that, was that was before YouTube was really strict with their copyright. I might save this for later, to be honest with you. What else can I have? What else? Oh, let's finish this. This is really good. Let's keep going with your questions, everybody. Do you, oh, no, not answering that question. If you could go back to school, what would you major in? This comes from Jerry Abbott. Hi, Jerry Abbott. Um, oh, gosh, oh, part of me kind of wants to do violin still and not go to the university, but go to a conservatory. I would rewind my life back to freshman year of high school and really make sure I was prepared to audition for a conservatory, which I didn't do, which is why I didn't apply or go to any of them. Mmm. 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 But if I weren't, if I weren't to do music, I would probably do. God, you know it's awful. The things I'm interested in don't pay well in this world. I was gonna say philosophy. <laughs> and then I was also gonna say art. Cinematography. That's something I, I feel like I kind of have an eye for, but I've never had proper training. I feel like I have this natural ability to see through a scene, kind of like music, a phrase, how it's shaped. 
you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Any of you that watched my old videos back before I started this with mukbang craziness, all my vlogs and stuff, they're like little mini movies. And I was using iMovie and a cell phone for half of it. The other thing was a G7X, this, it's this small, it wasn't even a DSLR. I didn't even know how to use lenses. But I watched some of them back and I'm like, my God, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> with the music and pairing it together. And that's just, I mean, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm aware that I have this natural ability and I feel like something like that needs to be taken, harnessed. Um, what word do I want for? Taught, I need to be taught with what I have naturally to do better. And I felt, I feel like I, I would be a movie director or a Broadway show director or a chore, well, not choreographer, I can't dance, but just the overall, it, I would love to be a director Broadway, um, again, things that don't pay well. I mean, and things that you have to be very, very lucky. You know, I'd be conducting this little, you know, backyard, you know, Humpty Dumpty, <laughs> a little countryside barn musical because I couldn't get any job. There's no job openings. It's so hard. It's so competitive. And like, yeah, it might be good, but you know, we're doing the local community with the band over here. <laughs> And I'm not trying to downplay the people. I'm saying there's very good people out there. They're doing things that probably they didn't dream of doing. Like, they dream for the top. So, I'm just saying. And that's with, you know, visual shows, Broadway, or, you know, off-Broadway. Musicals, off-Broadway. But I think I would do movies. I feel like I would want to go to school to learn how to direct movies. Absolutely. I feel like I'm very wired that way. Again, I'm crazy here on the internet, but again, I know it sells. I know what I'm doing. Um, and you guys already know that. It's no surprise. But, yeah. Okay, so if it wasn't anything art-related or music-related, philosophy, I don't even know what you do. Hey, Siri! Mm -hmm. What kind of job do you get with, with a degree in philosophy? Let's ask her. Okay. I found this on the web for what kind of job? Thank you. You can shush. Uh, this is careers for philosophy majors. Um, teaching at school. I would pursue violin more. I don't know. I kind of would scratch an idea. I think I would really like to be a director of Broadway musicals or movies. No. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I take that? You can make bank being a director. Steven Spielberg or something. You can make bank being a good movie director. But there's only a few of them, you know, like, there's only so much room at the top. It's a pyramid. And the, the likelihood of me being right there at the top. I mean, let's be honest, this is the most successful I've ever been. I'm a drama queen on the internet. I eat, I cry, I masturbate, and that's it. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> I literally am doing the most basic crap out there. Eat, cry, touch myself, repeat. <laughs> I should s sell shirts that say that. Uh. And ironically, this is the most attention and success I've ever had. But this is not what I ever dreamed for myself. And I love it. For me, it's a, it's a form of art. Expression. I'm going to have to get water. I drank all that water. So shout out to you, Jerry Abbott. I know it took forever to answer your question. Can you please show us how to make the Taki noodles? Shout out to Rachel. I would love to. Um, I was just telling Orlin, I said, if we do get officially quarantined, like no one's allowed to go get to restaurants, like all fast food shuts down or something. I mean, I love the drive through I think it's safe. But if that's the case, um, well, I don't know because we have no food. Like we've gone to the grocery store five times. They're always out of stuff. And we've been very diligent about making fresh squeezed orange juice. And you're like, no, save them, ration them. But in order to prevent you from getting sick, you need that vitamin C uptake. And yeah, these packets are nice, but I like some fresh squeezed orange juice. So, anyway, speaking of the, I thought about doing, well, I might have to do lots of homemade stuff. So I'm going through my head, things that I can do that I'm good at that you enjoy as well. You know what I mean? Don't tell me to bake fried chicken from scratch. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ain't happening. Can't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. <laughs> but you could tell me, um, I could do the Cheetos noodles for you. I know how. I can do regular regular ramen noodles. I can do, um, oh yeah, I went to Asian store t uh, the other day. They don't have um, dumplings. No more dumplings. Anyway, 
What's the weirdest thing you've ever done for someone? This comes from Aqu Awkward Gamer. The weird is this too bright? I feel like it might be too bright, but you're probably just listening right now. The weirdest thing I've ever done to someone or for someone? For somebody. I don't know, but I think a lot of people who have collabed with me would say, I did a mukbang on YouTube that, you know, <coughs> I farted and coughed at the same time. Did you hear that? <laughs> Rewind. It was like, boom. It was like a bomb. I farted. It, that's the weirdest thing. There you go. I farted and coughed at the same time to 100,000 people. Well, I don't know what channel this is going to go on, but who knows. Um, if you could take back any mistake, what would you make? Uh, take back. This comes from Oceanistic YD. Um, I always say I have no regrets and everything is for a reason, a life lesson. You know, it is. It's to build, build yourself and to work at yourself. And it's like, for example, saying... I don't even know. I'm not good at analogies right now. Your dark times, your struggles are lessons. You're not gonna, you're no one's born at the top. And the people who are born at the top have their own lessons. Like there's always lessons in life and you have to see it as a lesson. Because guess what? It's gonna come inevitably. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna make a mistake. Someone's gonna call you out. You're gonna, you know, curse out your boss or throw a shoe at your boyfriend's head. <laughs> Or what, you know, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, you know, and then there's repercussions like, you know, there's a uh, divorce or a restraining order or you severely hurt him or then you feel bad or again, you blow up at your boss, you lose your job, now you're poor and you're like, oh God, I should have just sucked it in. Like, um, it, it happens inevitably because we make, we're faulty creatures, we make mistakes and I don't want to take anything back because then I want to take more things back and then it's going to it's going to be a domino effect where I want to take back a lot of stuff and I feel like I'm actually happy right now believe it or not with where my life is um it has its up and downs but I think it's still a forward motion nonetheless long term and um oh I'll take nothing back Mm. What's the best year you had? That's very interesting. These questions are side by side. This comes from JD35. JD35. The best year I've ever had. Um, I still feel like it's too bright. The best year I ever had. I think it was actually last year. 2019 was my year. Yeah, I got a little intense the last month, but in general, my relationship had been better than when I was living in Colombia. My income had been improving because I made a new channel. Um, a lot of my video, you know, financially I was doing better. Love life, I was doing better. Career-wise, I, I gained probably 700,000 followers just last year alone. Um, so family, love life, financial life, career-wise. What else is there? What's the fifth thing? Spiritual? Oh, health. Oh, well. <laughs> Health-wise, actually, well, who knows? I'm, I'm the same weight, but your health is a lot more than your weight. Or your appearance. Excuse me, just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy, okay? Um, Spiritual-wise, <clears throat> I don't know. Um... Spiritual wise, actually, I kind of kind of lack it. I'm so consumed with like making videos and doing stuff and selling merch and doing my side stuff that you guys now know about. Um, yeah, I'm not religious. I don't go to church. Would I even call myself spiritual? Hey Siri, what does it mean? What does it mean to be spiritual? Okay. I found this on the web for what does it what does it mean to be spiritual? You didn't have to read my mistake out loud, you little beast. 
What does it mean to be spiritual? Spirituality has become kind of a buzzword in today's culture, especially for the millennial generation. Increasingly, North Americans are identifying as, as spiritual as opposed to religious more and more each year. What is, the, what is behind this rising popularity of spirituality without the religion? Some critics have suggested it's a boycott of the self-obsessed culture of today, evidence of a narcissism, narcissism epidemic. They're blaming YouTube and Instagram. Great. <clears throat> Basically. Spirituality is in the context of Christian theology lie in the Latin name. Okay, this is too much. Okay. See, I'm done. Spirituality mean, means, you know, <clears throat> I'm too lazy to learn any big words right now. Bye. <laughs> Literally, bye. I don't want to learn any of this. Um, for me, okay, it's going to sound weird, but you know you have those moments where you just feel an inkling of glory? I know that sounds so weird, but you get goosebumps on your arms. You can feel tingles on your neck. Your heart just feels so open and you almost want to cry. Um, actually, I'm starting to get goosebumps just describing the feeling. Wow. You'd think I'm an actor. I'm not. <laughs> Where I'm like psychosomatic. Oh, I am. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> but you have moments. For me, I always get these moments. Well, not always, but the frequency of these inklings of glory for me come when I'm listening to great music. And I'm not talking about, um, what was that song I was just singing on my Instagram? I was a ho. What was it? Um, don't you know I was a ho back in the day? I was a ho. Yeah, I'm not talking about that kind of music. <laughs> I do not get inklings of glory when I listen to those types of stuff. That's really for entertainment and like to be slutty or something. For me, it's more, it comes with choral music, Russian Orthodox music, classical music, chamber music, um, even orchestral uh, movie score, uh, score music, like, you know, like background music to um, really beautiful moments in movies, things like that. Um, or even moments where, remember I told you about the Taco Bell lady, how I just felt so much warmth coming from her and I called the manager and I told the manager how good she was and I felt so good to let her boss know how good she made me feel like I've never ever done that in my life if you haven't seen that movie, uh, video of mine it's on the main channel is this on the main channel I don't know um, it's on the main channel it's called Taco Bell mukbang and um, I filmed it like last month or recently three four I'd say like four weeks ago so check it out it's a great story that to me was a an inkling of glory like that feels like God. What's God? I don't know. But it makes me feel good. It makes me feel altru altruistic. <laughs> altruistic. It makes me feel wholesome and it makes um, makes me have tears of joy. Um, that's how I am spiritual, I guess. I feel something in me or around me or something, a, a, a feeling. I get certain times and it's not because I had to read about it. I'm not, I'm not downplaying religion here. I'm not, but not because I read about it. Not because someone told me <clears throat> you have to do this in order to receive this in order to have a good life. You have to do this and you have to do this and you have to say the rosary five times before bed, or you're not going to feel that glory. You're not going to get it for me. It's never been about like, you have to do all these steps to be worthy of it. I just am worthy because I'm me and I'm human and it's like this innate little this little light inside of me and it it throbs the light like bounces when I hear beautiful music when there's a beautiful connection with another person when um, I do the when I pay it forward that's one of the best feelings that money can't buy like that feeling I had the t with that Taco Bell lady, again, watch that video. I've never had a feeling like that from buying a, a CD or a new shirt. Maybe a new pair of sheets, because I love sheets. <laughs> That's one of my guilty pleasures. Like, if I could buy a new pair of sheets every week for the rest of my life, I mean, just to slip in some unused sheets. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's how I feel like I'm spiritual. I feel something. It's my spirit. 
But that's very loose and that's my own way. And the way I feel it is from things that you might not feel it. For me, it comes through the arts and it comes through human connection. And it comes from doing good things for people. Um, and it's not, again, because I had to be told to do it or because I felt like it just happens when it happens or it happens if I make effort to take time off to listen to good music or to make sure I'm giving back somehow. Um, that's what spirituality means to me. And that's probably not what spirituality is supposed to mean, but hey, I don't know. I've never really talked about that on my channel. I don't like to talk about religion or politics and, um... Sorry if that was wrong for you to hear, I know. Um, please don't leave comments like, don't worry, Allah's here for you, or don't worry, Jesus Christ will understand. Don't, no, 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 it's okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I stepped in tacos. <laughs> my shoes have tacos on the bottom. Um, yeah, no, 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 like don't. I feel like everyone can be free to do what they want to do and be what they want to be as long as it's not um, um, opposing on others. I think that's the best. What's the favorite, your favorite food? Hi Devin, I don't really have one. Jelly bee chicken maybe. I answer that all the time. I'm trying to do things I've never talked about. What made you want to do YouTube? This comes from Brooklyn. To be honest with you, it came from boredom. It came from a need of a job. I needed money, but I didn't do YouTube. To be I didn't even know how much money people made on YouTube. When I first started YouTube, you guys, I kid you not, and you're gonna believe it because the proof's out there. I was making like barely $100 a month. I, w I used to get paid every other month sometimes. And I moved to Columbia, South America, where it's really affordable for electricity and internet. And Well, the internet was still expensive. Um, but yeah, food and transport and just to survive. So, <clears throat> I didn't do YouTube for money. I even know how much money people can make. Um, now I've been around lots of YouTubers and lots of different size channels. And it's very unfair, again, how everyone's paid here on this YouTube platform. Like, um, it's very unfair how it works, but it is what it is. But it's such a range to, uh, anyways, that's not what the question is. I went to YouTube, honestly, because I wanted to inspire people to be vegan. That was what I believed in back in the day. And um, I did it from a place of wanting to share something that I thought was so good. And it came across very preachy. It also came across very like pompous, pompous like. And I, I look back, I'm like, oh, oh my God. I was also a kid. I was like 19, 20, 21 when I started my vegan journey YouTube. So, you know, I'm almost 30 now. It's been a long, it's been five years since I stopped being vegan. And it's been eight, nine years since I was at like the intensity of my vegan, raw vegan, all that kind of stuff, years. Um, but anyways, that's why I started making YouTube videos. I want to inspire people. I want to kind of entertain. Um, and then I got really into like the vlogs and stuff and making them very pretty. That's my cinematography thing that I enjoy. You know, with the camera movement and the the exposure, the depth of field, making nice music, phrasing the the, the fade-ins, fade-outs, da-da-da, whatever. Um, but yeah, I never did YouTube to be rich. I never did YouTube to be famous. Oh, like, I didn't... Honestly, I... Okay, well, if you're a hater, you're not going to even want to hear this, but... I'm like semi-famous, I get noticed a lot every time I go out, people notice me at the airports, the restaurants, etc. And I was, I can't remember a time where I was sitting, editing videos back when I was a vegan, or even when I quit veganism and started mukbangs in Colombia, I never did it to be famous. I did it just to share. Because I felt like I was breaking free of something that, I, while it was good for me, also kind of trapped me in ways, you know, breaking free of the veganism. Um, I've always done it to share. Um, like I never, and how would I have known that mukbang would have been popular? I was the first, or one of the first American mukbang channels. I was the first male American, there's no other guys. I was the only male in all of YouTube to do mukbangs back in 2015, 2016. 2015, 16, there was nobody else, nobody. And so it's not like, oh, look, that person has 5 million subscribers. I know it's popular. I know it's going to do well. I'm going to be like that person. Let me do it too. I was, I did it when 
I've always said this, Kimmy, she had some uh, mukbang videos. I don't know how big the channel was. I don't know how long it last lasted for. But I remember she had like not even 100,000 subscribers or something. And I mean, again, that's a lot of people, but not like famous, 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 where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a millionaire. And like, it was just, it was never about that. So I guess to answer your question, what made me want to do YouTube Brooklyn? It was to share and to help people, which is crazy because I don't feel like I'm helping people now. Um, I guess that's where I kind of lack a little bit. I'm more of entertaining now. I'm way more entertaining now than I used to be. Back then it used to be more education. <sighs> education. Some of it was good information, some of it was bad, some of it was very flawed. It all came from a good place, I swear. Um, oh my gosh. I deleted like 800 videos of me back in the day. So cringy. But um, yeah, I guess I kind of lack in that like um, helping people aspect. If anything, I help people, I don't know. Do I help you guys? Why do you come back every day? I feel like it's more entertainment, but I feel like that can be helpful too. You know, I'm helping you pass time. <laughs> I'm helping you feel better about your life next time I cry and shave my head, which I'm going to. <laughs> like I honestly, I'm so sick of my hair. I'm, I'm gonna shave it. I'm gonna shave my hair, okay? I can do it. <sighs> oh my god, I'm gonna look even fatter. Oh my god. I'm sick of it though, and I'm so sick of cutting it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get extra teary. I'm gonna have to think of, well, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna, I don't even know. I'm gonna probably wait till I'm really, really upset or in the, if I'm like in the middle of a fight, I'm like, well, poof, F you, Orlin. I get the camera and I shave it. I'm already emotional. I'm already thinking of the fight I just had. But I don't want to repeat again what happened in Colombia. Maybe I should maybe I should talk and be like, hi guys, shave my head today and acting like nothing's happening. That would be kind of funny. Ooh. If you guys can't tell, I'm, I'm a jokester. I like to have fun. Um, oh, next question, why do you lie? This comes from Olivia. I don't know what you're referring to, but I'm telling the truth right now, I swear. I'm letting you guys know that um, I never did YouTube to be rich. I... I'm, I, everything I'm saying is literally just talking like I would to a friend. Um, why do you lie? I don't know. Let's see. McKenna Fleming, she wants to know when did you come out as gay? I came out when I was 15, I think. It almost feels like a blur, but I'm sure if I speak to my parents about it, they'll remind me something. Oh, I'll think about the whole story all over again. Um, but I did on Facebook in a Facebook note, which they didn't really like. They're like, I wish you told us. I'm like, I was scared. It's scary. I don't, I don't know why it is. I don't even know why it has to be, but it just is. It's kind of scary. Do you love yourself? This comes from Miley Bay. Um, some days yes, some days no. I feel like I have a good balance. Some days, and the days where I'm like really full of myself and too cocky, then literally five days will go by, by and I'm really self-conscious. Like I, like sometimes I'll take photos for my um, OnlyFans account. <laughs> you guys follow me there. Um, I'm taking photos, right? And I'm like, oh my god, yes. Oh my god, it's so big, yeah. And then the other day I was like, oh my god, it doesn't look good enough. They're gonna judge it. Or then it's like, what? Everyone loves to post it. I'm like, no. So I feel like I balance myself out with like overconfidence and then feeling very um, underconfident. What's something that you love about yourself? This comes from Give Bugs Love. Give Bugs Love. Hi, that's a cute name. Um, I love that... I love that I'm artistic. It's a, it's fun. I feel proud. I like it. That's something I like about myself. Cause not, you know, you know, like, I don't know. It's really hard to talk about something like that where it, so it doesn't sound like I'm bragging. I'm not, I swear. But you know, living with someone opposite than me in terms of like, seeing things or visualizing things or you know where he's more technical like I can't even install a shelf that comes in the mail from Amazon I have a whole meltdown about it. I can't even do it <laughs> you know so everyone has their strengths and weaknesses I enjoy the fact that one of my strengths is art and that's the whole umbrella of art okay why are you such a cutie hi skater hawk oh thank you um Let's see. You are a great person. Thank you. 
Amratha Boldula. Amratha Boldula. <laughs> What's your biggest insecurity? It doesn't have to be physical, just saying. This comes from Minty Boy. Minty Ho Boy. Who Boy? Hi, Minty. What is that? What kind of... There's like a horse on your head. Oh, this is K-pop. Okay, hi. Um, one of my biggest insecurities is... My double chin, but obviously that's physical. You said not physical. Personality-wise, I worry and I self-guess myself all the time. And it's so effing annoying. I hate myself for that quality about myself. I hate that. And I just always feel like I'm annoying the crap out of people. When I'm like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this thumbnail? What do you think of... Um, or like I'll have a conversation with someone on the phone and then I'll think about the conversation. Did I say it okay? Did I sound happy? Did I sound turn offish? What did I say? Should I have used more inflection? Like, I will go back and trace everything I just did when talk, and I'll haunt myself. And it's awful. I hate it. Um, it has to do with my OCD. It has to do with my slight ADD. It has to do with my attachment disorder. Huh, I'm a whole mental case over here. Um, listen, but we're in therapy here, so I'm learning all the things wrong with me. But, you know, I can use it to my advantage, but when it's not to my advantage, it's really taxing. It's like a curse. So that's something I'm insecure about, knowing that I have these mental problems. I express them, you guys know. It's obvious when you hang out with me or talk to me. I just, I worry, like, um, I'm very, like, easily spooked. I remember when I went to Trisha's house and I was like, we kept hearing noises. I was like, what's that? And someone, oh, you know what, I just, I felt, Almost like as if I'm paranoid, but I don't I don't think I'm paranoid, like actual paranoid. I feel like I'm just extra careful and then some things I worry about. Like if I don't I don't feel like I have paranoia. Like every time I hear that definition or read it or it doesn't fit with me. So anyways, that's why I hate about myself. If you were offered ten million dollars, would you go back to being vegan? Lore and peace oh one? For how long? For life? I don't know. I'd say no. And $10 million, I would retire. I'd have a house, a car. I'd put some money in the bank and I'd be okay. You know, but I don't believe in it. I feel like 80% plant-based could be good, you know, but you can't, I personally believe in having some animal pro products still there from my experience, from my knowledge, from what I've gone through and from the people I've talked to and what I've observed in so many people over so many years. I mean, I was in this whole vegan umbrella thing for um, a decade of my life. And people are coming and going like a merry-go-round, a revolving door. And the people that stay, I'm, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't think that's best, opt optimately, 100%, you know, I, like, oh, you don't look too good. Or, again, I'm not one to judge, but everyone does make judgments based on what they want to do for themselves and their bodies. And I'm just like, you know. No, I would not. Because also, I'm not greedy in terms of like, I need millions of dollars. I would love to make a million dollars in my lifetime. That would be, one million would be nice. <laughs> Ten, I, honestly, I don't know what I would do with ten million dollars and for my brain and my experience to know that it will be off For the rest of my life because I got some money. I don't know. I've never been the money type I mean, I work hard. We post every day. I'm a hustler da da da, but um It's never been to that extent where it's millions um, So the answer is no have you noticed any mood or mental health differences since getting medicated? Thank you so much. Love your videos. Thank you. Um, Abby, I feel like I'm playing around with it because, oh, oh, so in three weeks, I'm going to start a new medication. So I wish I could, I don't want to tell you. It's kind of, it's not embarrassing. I just, it's really no one's business. I don't know. I don't even know if I can talk about this on YouTube. Are you able to talk about like this kind of stuff? I don't know. 
I'm starting something new three weeks from now, and the reason why I'm wait, I've been wait, you know, I've been on something for months now, but we're starting something that I had done in the past as a foundation and adding something new that I've never tried before, so that there's side effects or complications with the new thing. I don't rule out the old thing that might be working for me for certain aspects of my life, um, and also it wears off by certain times. It's not 24 hours a day, so for example. I can tell right now at 1.30 a.m. when I'm filming this that I'm not, it's not there. And I'm kind of just like, woo, I'm back to me, <laughs> you know? But when I am taking my medication, um, a difference, yes, I feel, I don't want to say numb, that's not the right word. I feel more like controlled, which is a good thing. Maybe not so much for me, I mean, no, it is good for me. It is good. But I was going to say the people around me and, um, yeah, the battery's blinking. I have to change the battery. I kind of want to keep reading, reading more questions and answering them for you guys. And now the food's literally here as a placemat, <laughs> just sitting here. We're going to, I am so sick of my hair. I am shaving my head. I swear it's on the way. Just, just telling you, like, I'm going to shave it right now. I'm so mad every time I look at it. Ugh, it looks like broccoli head. Okay, everybody, I am back, and I'm gonna be eating some cabbage while I answer a few oh, more questions. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know why I did that? Oh, ouch! I can tell I'm not on my medicine right now, and also, ouch, that really hurt. Also, it's really late at night, so I feel like I'm a little oopy dooby. Um, what's your advice for changing your ways? This comes from Jacob. You have to, the, okay. Um, can people change? Yes and no. I feel like you're still you, but you can work on things that are bad about you, like flaw, a mannerism, something that you do repeatedly, whether it's argue with your husband or this and that. You, you can work on it and sometimes you have to sit down and say to yourself, is this something in my control or is it something that I'm doing that I cannot control? It feels like there's something wrong in my head. That's when you need to have the guts and the finances to go see some way to give you medication. If you don't know what medicine is, it's they derive from plants, from the Amazon rainforest, the special medicines that come from plants and um, synthesized materials that alter brain waves and can help you function better if you know dosed and diagnosed and then dosed correctly so how to change those ways you need to make effort where you know you can make effort and then you also have to make effort in getting medication to control something that you cannot control that you need in order to change your ways so it's a combination of your personal effort and the effort of something external that you're gonna have to pay for it. Um, unless you live in a first world country, unlike, well, except for the US, where they give it to you for free. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sad, this whole, uh, we don't even get to it. It's just very sad, you know. I, I said earlier, I, in one of my other videos, I said it's expensive to be crazy in, in America, in the United States. You, it's expensive to be crazy if you want to take care of it. And um, like, for example, I saw this thing on Twitter. I liked it. You can go to my Twitter and see. Um, I didn't like it because I thought it was good. I liked it because I wanted to save it to show Orlin. And you know, sometimes I like things out of shock. What was this lady, um, a black lady, running through the streets naked up to a Wendy's restaurant, banging on the doors and yelling. And everyone in the store, you know, they were filming her outside from within the restaurant. Like, here she comes. Oh, what, what's she doing? There she goes. And she's banging. And they're all kind of like laughing and making smart remarks about it. And the people, I mean, it was trending on Twitter. I don't know. Um, I can't show you because she didn't have clothes on. And um, it didn't look like a prank or something stupid for clout. You know, people do stupid things for attention. It looked kind of troubling. Like, this lady's not right mentally. And she's probably not medicated because A, she can't afford it. B, she hasn't been diagnosed for what she has. 
C, maybe she has been diagnosed, but she's just not taking her medicine. You know, it's very sad. Um, like, I didn't find that video funny. A, a lot of people were, like, laughing really hard. Were making comments about how funny it was. I thought it was sad. Um, so, how can she, you know, that's... I don't know what to what degree you need to change your ways. Um, but you have to be smart if you can be. I mean, some people... Some people don't even realize what they're doing or what they do that makes people upset or what makes people tick or um, You know say you have an addictive personality. I don't think I have an addictive personality by the way um, But I'm just trying to use an example like what if you have an addictive thing to gambling or something um, What if you're not even aware of it? That's where it's really scary to me and changing your ways is gonna take some I don't even know. I'm not the right person to answer that for you. Oh, gosh. Why do you blame everything on water weight? This comes from Ray or so. I do it to be funny. It's not that I actually think. Well, this is going to help bring down the water weight, girl. This here is potassium and fiber, which balance out your sodium potassium pump and expel sodium through your urine. Mmm. <laughs> Ew. There's beets in here. Oh. Wow. I don't know. It smells kind of burnt. I think he didn't put a wa enough water at the bottom of the bowl when he was uh, steaming this. I hate being critical. It's so nice that he made this for me. He's in the kitchen making orange juice for himself, but he had this going for me. Because I'm like, oh gosh, I need cabbage. So, what's the tea, sis? Hi, Charlotte. I don't have any tea. Your videos have gotten so positive, I see a real change in you. Thank you so much. What's your favorite childhood memory? Can you do a Subway mukbang? This comes from Cartagena. Cartagena? That's a city in Colombia. Cartagena, Cartagena. Um, what did she say? Oh, Subway, yeah. I was actually thinking about Subway today. I was thinking about Subway today. I saw it while driving. I'm like, I haven't done Subway forever. I don't do it too often. It's not the most popular thing. You know, I like to balance what's trendy on YouTube, what's going to make me successful here on this platform. What do I enjoy? What do you guys enjoy too? For example, I do Cheetos noodles. No one else is making Cheetos noodles. But it's trendy for me. It seems to work for me long term. You know, the videos get millions of views. So, um, Subway, I don't know. I have to look and see how they do long term. Hmm. <laughs> Trading Taehong. But who's your favorite BTS member? I don't have one, sorry. I don't know them all. Um, do people have issues or stare at you for being bigger? This comes from Courtney. I've never noticed people stare at me for being big. I mean, how would you know that's the reason? I mean, what if they're staring at me because I'm just that attractive <laughs> or I'm that unattractive? Or maybe I'm walking really funny. Or maybe they're staring at me because they recognize me and they don't know how to say it. They're like, I've had that happen to me a lot. Maybe, maybe girl, they're looking at me because I'm big. You, it could be what you're saying. Maybe it's not that they notice me. But literally, they, they do this with their phone. They're like, I'll, like I'll be um, in a restaurant or at a shopping mall or walking down the street. And they'll be like, Like, checking their phone. <laughs> There's something making my tongue tingle on here. I don't know what it is. Let's see here. How are your, I'm sorry that I keep looking down. I feel like I'm not engaging with you. I'm really trying to, let's just put this phone back here. I'm gonna hold it up like this so you can see the questions, kind of. What's your favorite pizza place? My favorite pizza place is Little Caesars. I, oh, no, my favorite pizza place is, oh, someone taught me how to say it. Um, Ch Chizari. Is it Chizari? It's a um, pizza place at Knobles Amusement Park in Pennsylvania. I called it Cesari's. I think it's Ch Chizari. 
Chisari. Chisari? I think it's Che. Chisari. Yeah, that's my favorite pizza place. At least I think it is. Or something similar to that. Like thin, crispy, Italian. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Mozzarella. Because it's stringy and pulley. I actually really like cheddar. I love all types of cheeses, but I think what I eat most of the time on YouTube is mozzarella based because I like the pulls. I like to play with it. Um, this comes from Speedo. Hi, Speedo. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh my gosh, Carly Steele and Chelsea Lynn. How do you cope with so much hate? I would literally cry if I were you. This comes from Bernice Memons123 Africa. Um, it's hard. It's taken lots of, pra lots of practice. I'm still not good at it. Sometimes I, I fight back. Sometimes, whatever. I don't deal with it very well. And I think the best thing for me, too, is just not to read it. As long as I'm not reading it, then I'm not... I'm not I would never even know. I would never even know that you're upset with me as long as I don't read it. <laughs> Unless you're knocking on my door and telling me I don't like your video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you eat instant ramen noodles every day for three meals? This comes from hy1s5.77. One time I did ramen every day for like a week straight when I lived in Colombia. I got very sick by the end of it. It's a lot of sodium. It's a lot of trans fat. I think that's part of some of the most unhealthy I've ever been. Like, yes, I'm eating this stuff here, but... Um, mm. That was really bad. Next question. Why aren't you on TikTok? You'd be so good at it. This comes from Boho Summer Australia. Girl, I don't know what I would do on there. What do you want me to do? Dance? I'm not a dancer. Sing? I'm not a singer. No, I could be wrong. I don't even have the app. But it seems like the people who are taking off and successful are young and attractive people. I'm kind of young. I could kind of pass for 22. Even though I'm 30. Almost. I'm 27. 28 in May. But, um... I'm not attractive like that. Uh, my audience is very much more adults. Like, my channels on YouTube, like, if you look at them, they're not kid-friendly at all. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... From the drama, to the meltdowns, to the arguments, to the crazy overeating, to the things I talk about, to this adult conversation, spirituality and stuff, you know, 12-year-olds don't want to listen to what we talked about in this video. 12-year-olds do not want to listen to what we've talked about in this video. At all. They want to hear some stupid shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they're into it. Maybe they're mature. And that's very weird for me to be saying that I have a mature audience as if I'm so mature. I'm not. <laughs> I'm immature too, but I don't even... You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I don't... I mean, if I look at my statistics on my YouTube channels... I barely have anybody watching me, me that, that are below the age of 18. Barely. It's like a percentage. A percentage. One or two percents. Um, Culver's or In-N-Out? Those, do they even compare? They do. Culver's has, oh, I would say Culver's actually. I haven't done Culver's forever. And there's one literally right around the corner here. We're doing Culver's tomorrow, you guys. We are doing Culver's tomorrow. I keep saying that. You know why I keep putting it off? Because I know it's not trendy here. And the last time I did Culver's, I don't know. It's so good. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am, Mother Month 666. How do you say so strong with all the hate? Hi, Nick. Keep going. I love you. Thank you, Carly. Um, I don't even know. I just don't read it. Do you have tattoos? No, I don't. This comes from Finger condoms <laughs> why do you post inappropriate photos on your instagram hi jojo lit um because i like because i have fun doing it it's funny to me or i want to get a reaction out of people or because it's my private instagram <laughs> um let's see 
You look really hot, chubby. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Thanks. Um, do you regret eating meat since you were vegan in the past? No. That comes from J. Lago. Why are you always so high tempered? This comes from X Way. I don't know, but we have a light in the house called, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have a light in the house called Nick's Temper. <laughs> so during Black Friday, Orlin got, was it Black Friday? No, Cyber Monday. No, we don't go out for Black Friday ever. It was Cyber Monday deals. And you know, Alexa, the little plugs that you have for the lights to go into or anything you want, really. Um, and you'll be like, hey, Alexa. Turn on lamp number one. Hey Alexa, turn on lamp number two. Well, we name a lamp, <gasps> Nick's Temper. So if you're ever in my house, just walk in and say, Alexa, turn on Nick's Temper. And then it gets turned on. The more you know. <sighs> we have lots of other, okay. I don't wanna say one, two of them I don't wanna say on camera. And then we have two other lamps named after our old birds from Columbia. One of them is Noodle, that's by the treadmill, and the other one is in the living room, that's called Roberto. So literally today I was just like, Alexa, turn on Noodle. Alexa, turn on Roberto. So cute. I miss my babies. Why are you so crazy? This comes from Bring Back Jeffree Star with Trisha Paytas as the thumbnail. Um, I don't know, I just am. How do you feel about Joe Biden? Big Sharon, I'm not gonna talk about politics. Um, not even saying anything. Why do people hate you? I do not know. Ashley P. T. 2. I, have a I mean, I can kinda guess. The drama, the theatrics, um, the overeating. Some people hate me for my sexuality. I get it all the time, I mean, it's a lot. I mean, it's alive and well, just like racism. Like, it's, it has not gone away at all. It actually shocks me, especially my videos that get millions of views. For example, I'll post this video. What's today's date? We're like at the end of March, 2020. 2022, you're gonna be what? Hey girl, hi, you're watching this video in 2022? Hi. Um, it might have a million views by now. Like some of my videos have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 million views. And I posted them years ago, they just keep spreading. And I go to the comments, it has like 30,000 comments, and they're all like, gay, 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 is he gay, ill, die. Like, and so my core audience that know me, people in America that watch this, they're, you know, I really don't get comments like that at first. But if you go to a video that's been up for over a year and it's circulated, like a well-viewed video from other countries or different parts of the United States that aren't my core audience, it's intense with that. So I'm hated for a lot of different reasons, even things like that, that I feel like I shouldn't be, but I am. What else? Saminoi. Nick, what's your favorite fruit other than avocado? Gosh, how do I pick one? I love fruit. Here, let me tell you my favorite fruits. Um, I love citrus, so I really enjoy mandarin juice. I love clementines that I can peel that are you no know, seeds. Um, I had some grape uh, grapefruit today. Juiced, not eaten. Ew, I like it juiced. I love citrus. I love lemons and limes, lime juice. Like the whole citrus family is a great friend of mine. Avocado is still number one if I had to pick my favorite fruit in the world. Um, I really like a fruit called durian. It makes me sick if I eat too much of it. I'm allergic to it because it has sulfites, sulfur, and you know. But it's so, so good. I really like jackfruit, which is kind of related. I like soursop, delicious. I love mulberries. Mm. I don't like strawberries as much. I like mulberries. I like um, jackfruit. Oh, I love a fruit called mame sapote. Mame sapote. 
Um, the Cuban red ones come from Cuba. The best ever. Um, I like mangoes, certain varieties more than others. Mangoes are pretty good, but I don't really crave mangoes. I do crave soursop. I do crave citrus. I do crave... I like sour things, now that I think about it. Um, I love cashew apple. You guys know cashew nuts that you eat at the store? Would you know the cashew came from a big old fruit? Looks like a big old plum in the tree. It's like this big. It's as red as this. Well, they have an orange variety and a red variety. I love the red variety, it's my favorite. And it's like juicy, kind of like bubblegum sweetness. Um, yeah. And when they harvest it, it's grown in Central America, South America, um, even, if, I don't know about up here, but in Florida they have it. I know down South they have it. Um, so when they harvest it, like when you buy your cashews at the store, they have the, the nut seed and they take it off of the fruit and they throw the fruit away because it doesn't sell, doesn't ship. It rots by the time it gets to the shelves in the store, but it's very good if you could ever try one. So yeah, look that up, the cashew fruit. What else do I like? I feel like I'm missing something big. I love jackfruit, I love soursop, I love citrus, I love avocados, I love mulberries. I like macadamia nuts, they're tropical, but they, you know, I don't really eat them. That's not a fruit. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I could ask Orlin. He knows what I like. Melons, eh, they're okay. Um, bananas, eh, they're okay. Apples, no. A good old peach, a good white peach. Not the, not the stone peaches, not the ones from Georgia. They're all hard. I like the soft, fluffy, juicy peaches that are like northern, like New York State. Um, but even Pennsylvania, like a good fluffy white peach. That's nice and ripe. Um, I don't even know. I do like a lot of fruits though, but I like the ones that, oh, I love papaya. Okay, there you go. That's a big one for me, papaya. Huh. How can I forget that? I've been eating some all the time lately for vitamin C. Um, which reminds me, we have to get more. We went to the stores, they have nothing, and people don't even eat papayas, let's be real. People don't even eat them. Lemons, completely gone. Man, it's kind of crazy how people are, and they're taking way more than they need. <laughs> Way more than they need. Look at me. I'm such a hypocrite. Okay. Um, do you like cats? I do. Um, I have, well, it's not really mine anymore. I gave it to Orland's parents. I had a cat named Miss Kitty. And I, we were moving from Columbia and then we went to Pennsylvania because we didn't know where we wanted to live or rent. And we were apartment shopping in Pennsylvania and then we were apartment. And we spent so much time away from Miss Kitty that she got really attached, or more so his parent, Orlin's parents got attached to Miss Kitty, that she's theirs now. And that's fine with me, because I know, like, I'm gonna get up and go to San Diego for a week, because I feel like it. Or just last December, I was in LA for three and a half weeks. Like, I'm not, I don't want kids anymore. I don't really want pets. I mean, a, a new Mr. Noodle would be great, but, I'm very scattered and I like to pick up and go somewhere else. And I just felt like Miss Kitty is better off with someone that's more stable, you know, more stable than me. And I feel like it takes balls to admit that. Like, I don't wanna be so selfish, no, she's mine. Even though literally I, I won't see her. Anyway, um, you are the king of food. How about a hot dog sandwich? This comes from Celia Romero, underscore two, hey girl. Um, uh, that it might be nice. Are you gonna do a collab with Le Lena Paytas? I'd love to. This comes from BQA071. Lena Paytas, I'd love to. Oh, she's so funny. Oh, shoot, I just exited out all my questions. Oh, well, this video's getting too long anyway. Um, but then again, we didn't do an intro, so. Yeah, all right, everybody. 
Just eating my vegetables back here. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I feel like I didn't even eat that much. It's okay. I bought too much. Don't worry. We'll do we'll do another mukbang with them. <laughs> um, my favorite thing was the spicy chicken sandwich, which I ate all of. The tacos were great. I love these onion rings. Um, the pizza was good. Everything's good. Um, I get full. Like wow. I also have this back here, which I didn't even eat or show you. Aww. My chili cheese dog. I'm gonna have it now. Mmm. Um, I kinda wanna keep eating this hot dog now that I've eaten some of it. I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. I love hot dogs and they're so bad for you. Let's dip it, ooh, let's dip it in this ranch here. Ooh. Ooh. Delicious. These here are the little, it holds up my food, the little food risers. But this is Korea. Um, Tabuki. Instant rice cakes, the Samyang spicy noodle ones. Yeah, someone asked me where I get my Asian food. The Asian store. And you might be surprised, you might have one near you, like, You'd be surprised. Even one of my parents' local grocery stores has Asian noodles. And when I grew up, I never saw them there before. And now I'm thinking like, who the heck is eating them here? And you know, you'd be surprised. So just Google Asian food near me, Asian store. You might have, these are so, so good. Yeah, I don't know if I've had these before. I'm saving them for the real quarantine when I can't go outside anymore. <laughs> Cause there's no other food. There's no, there's no more pasta. We went to Walmart the other day. There was no more pasta. There's no more pasta sauce. All the cheese was gone. I was very upset. Not an ounce of cheese, no milk, no eggs. You know what there's a lot left of? Cereal. Which surprised me because I feel like people eat cereal. I don't eat cereal though. I don't like cow milk. And I do like nut milk, but it's kind of pricey. And Orlin can make it for me because we have a Vitamix, but that's just so time consuming. I like I like the cereals that are low in sugar. I like um, Raisin Bran. Is that low in sugar? Well, that's why I ate growing up. I like Raisin, I love Special K. Mmm, delicious. I like, the original Cheerio. I like the things that are not sweet. You know, like the kids can't, like Cocoa Puffs. Lucky, okay, Lucky Charms were good. But you know, there's Lucky Charms, there's all this stuff. Um, all that sweet chocolate, like, f what's that Fruit Jack's Fruit Loops? Fruit Loops! And there's tricks. There's all this stuff for kids. I was really, I kind of like the plain stuff, but I like that wheat flavor. I don't like the sugary stuff. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Where's my phone? I don't even know. <laughs> this is such a long video. But thank you for spending time with me. Let's eat more pizza. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't want to eat too much pizza, though, because the pizza sauce. Let's finish my taco. I'm really into Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like everything here. I love Burger King. I love Taco Bell. If I had to get rid of one item, it would probably be the pizza. I'm just not a big pizza eater. Mm. You guys know that too, because of the acid reflux. It only comes from cooked tomatoes. I don't know why. I keep looking for something else to pop out, but there's really, that's everything. 
I have lots of chicken nuggets back here. Oh my God. Oh, they fell into my, oh, my chili cheese tots. Let's keep eating these. Let me put these here. Ah. And then I have to go back to my vegetables that Orly made me. Here we go. Chili cheese tots. Here we go. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Fill me up. Mm. <laughs> Fill me up. Are you still here? Okay, if you're still here, you gotta leave an emoji for me. Actually, if you're still here, mwah. I feel like I've been here for hours. What should I leave? Um, what, what should you leave in your comment for me to recognize you? I wanna see who's made it this long. Okay, let's make it something random. Mm. Hammer. You know, like hammer, ham hammering on nails, bang, bang, making wood. Carly still made wood the other day. It was really cool. I watched her make wood, sand it and paint it and put it up against a wall. I was in the kitchen. She's probably watching this. Hi, Carly. I was in the kitchen. I was like, Orlin, I'm watching Carly sand wood right now. What is happening? And then she was sand and then she was painting it. And then she got paint on her garage wall. And I was like, no. <laughs> and she's like, I don't care. I'm like, no. Oh my God. And then, I don't know. I like watching people do boring stuff. Oh my God, that sounds awful. But you know, like just mundane stuff. I watched her clean. She has a video of her cleaning. I've watched that video like four times. <laughs> you know, people like to watch weird things, which is why you're here. You're still here. So let's leave a weird comment for me for my weird video. Hammer. Carly text me right now, hammer. And I'll be like, what? <laughs> I need you to leave in your comment right now the word hammer. And put your little hammer emoji con. Your, your little emoji, bing, 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 with the hammer. I don't know why I thought of it, but I did. Um, the fact that you made it this far to hear me blab and talk about nothing really means a lot to me. I guess I talked about a lot of stuff in this video, but I hope I kept you company. I hope I distracted you from, excuse me, oh my God, I really need more water. I hope I distracted you from all the noise in your life. Wow, I ate too fast or something. I'm burping, hiccuping, you know what's next. A big old fart. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, I hope I distracted you from all the noise in your life. I hope that I made you feel a little bit happy. It was nice spending company with you. I really enjoyed hanging out, hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I'm sorry if I talk too much, but it is what it is. And that's just like what I like to do. And I also like to overeat. And I ate, here, let's finish this taco real quick. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Hammer. Um, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, I'm chewing like a cow today. It's because I am one. Girl, we gotta go. Let's wrap this up. Well, everybody. <laughs> Ew. I hate that these got burned. It's the worst smell ever, but I have to do it. It's healthy. All right, everyone. Last bite, and then I'll say goodbye. Okay. Thank you for your time. Consider following me on all my other channels. I don't even know what channel this is going to go on, but it's going to be somewhere out there in the world. Um, just search my name, Nick Ocado Avocado. I have the main channel, Nick Avocado 2, Nick Avocado 3, and more Nick Ocado Avocado. And follow my Instagram and Twitter if you want more action with me in real time. I post there pretty much every day. I actually post on YouTube every day. Maybe not this channel. Again, I don't know which channel is going to go on, but somewhere on YouTube I'm posting every day. Sometimes twice a day. And um, I'm having fun. Thank you. Leave hammer in your comment and I'll see ya and I'll thank you. And um, have a great day. Bye. I am a freak. I just talked for two hours and I ate too much food. I am a freak. And people watched it. They watched this train wreck. I don't know why. Hammer, 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 hammer.
hammer.